Ozzy Griffin and this is a response to Dynamite Ruby aka the Crypt Queen. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds a bit funny, I'm uh, getting over a cold and I'm sucking on some garlic right now to help boost my immune system. Yeah, it's raw. Tastes better than, it's, than it sounds, especially once you get used to it over about two or three years. Anyway, what I was saying was, I was looking into this Atheism Plus thing and frankly I do not like what I see. I am not an atheist and I am however an amateur student of history and an amateur student of uh, human nature. Let me tell you about the kind of people that create Atheism Plus-esque movements. These are the same, these people want to create blanket credibility which can be revoked by committee, often a committee that they primarily control. See where this is going? And these are the people who can use the blanket credibility or the positive social effects of a title alone. Of, hey, oh, I, I signed on to the charter, I'm an atheist plus. For their own purposes. Now do you see where this is going? And in a lot of cases, this really wasn't doing anything especially good for people, and good was being done before Atheism Plus came along. So why oh why would anyone want to put extra conditions on doing good things? Hmm, I wonder, what kind of individual has the mindset that something isn't good unless it agrees with their political, philosophical, or social beliefs? Now do you see where this is going? Somebody's got an agenda towards the atheist community. That means the atheist community was getting enough good standing in a way that could not be manipulated that it was messing up somebody's plans and somebody created Atheism Plus to divide, conquer and manipulate and steer. Because if Atheism Plus isn't a ground up thing, I've got some bad news for you. You're about to have a really, really bad day. You are. Seriously. Every atheist watching this, you're about to have a really bad day with this whole thing. And why? Because somebody's trying to tell you what to think. And somebody is going to turn you in, trying to turn the Atheist Plus members into a, into a personal attack force to destroy someone's either credibility or social standing or at the very least, to put it into question. Watch out for Atheism Plus and the people who created it, because the people who created it, chances are, are going to be the manipulative sorts. Now, last I heard, this Thunderfoot individual uh, was one of the forces behind it, and last I've heard about uh, his contributions to the Free Thinker blogs and a few other things, this individual doesn't sound stable is the wrong word. He doesn't sound like he's incredibly consistent or that he's incredibly caring towards other people. I've heard about cults that don't use religion. It's a management course. It's a political belief. You know, it's a fringe movement. All that's missing from this to sound like the startings of a cult is, uh, some, is some sort of external threat. And once Atheism Plus starts blowing the social importance of the already marginalized, by the Christians I might add, of uh, religious extremists and uh, the people who believe that the Flintstones are real, Congratulations, you've got the startings of a cult. Not just a divisive uh, political movement, yet a cult. So like I was saying, watch out for this. 
I don't like one bit of it because there are because the only conclusions that I can draw from its existence is that somebody doesn't like the good, very moral stuff that some atheists are doing. Anytime someone builds bridges, the person who have who have their stupidity bridged over is usually looking to tear it down. Thank you.